Born on hope and helping hands, a land that heaven blessed. We need leadership for Texas to preserve what we possess. I'm Bill Clements. My grandfather, after the Civil War, came to Texas in 1872 with the railroad. And he was clearing the right of way and throwing up the roadbed for the Texas Pacific Railroad going west. He got to the East Fork of the Trinity River, and they established a tent city there on the banks of the East Fork and spent the winter of 1872 right there. And that's how my grandfather got to Forney, and that's how I got to Texas. I'd been born and raised in Dallas, and when I got out of high school, we were in the middle of a terrible depression, and I had to go to work and help my family. So I went to the oil fields and started roughnecking. I've had calluses all over my hands. I have worked 16 hours a day, literally, because I needed the money. So when the working man starts talking about how hard he works, I've been there. I know all about that. I went to SMU and entered engineering school. Then when I left SMU, I went right back to the oil fields and started working on drilling rigs again. I didn't have a dime, and I was able to buy on credit two old used drilling rigs and went in the drilling business. And literally on a hope and a prayer and a piece of baling wire, built a great business. That company today is called Sedco. Now, I don't produce any oil or gas. I'm a drilling contractor. In 1972, I said I would become the Deputy Secretary of Defense. And those problems in the Defense Department cover the total spectrum. Defense contracts, small business contracts, minority contracts, weapon systems. But the basic criteria in any management function, be it the Department of Defense or be it governor of the state of Texas, is to surround yourself with the absolutely best people possible. Not in one of those interviews did I ever ask one of those people, what is your political party? I had been chairman of the Board of Governors at SMU for eight years, and I founded the Committee on Excellence in Education in the Department of Defense that covers grade school right through